Miss Simone back with you feel me and today we have an unboxing and initial review of another bronco wear from IC Hair because y'all know this is my company this is my company and I got no bad hair my first two weeks that I ever made got from the tape from this company that hair will last it like a long time because I was back and forth between them two weeks so we have a new wig because we're having a grad shoot next week. Alrighty, let's do an unboxing. Y'all just got their social media stuff from the top, you know what I mean? It's the bag that my wig came in. So oh, hold on. We got some lashes for you. Which one? These lashes actually be straight. We got a little care book. They always give a little care book. The do's and don'ts of their hair. Got a wig cap. Oh, it's a little oh, it cap, you know? Yeah, it's okay. You can put makeup on it, but dang, give me a darker big cap, please. Okay. Alright, that's all I was in the box. They did not give an elastic band this time. They really do. This hair is Peruvian, and they always put this type of hair on the package. I got 180 density. 13 by 4 frontal wig. 14 inches. There it is on the top. 14 inches. And it says straight from right. I'm right. Okay. And um, so when I film a video plucking and customizing this wig, I'm going to try Taze Method. Because for now on, I want my frontal wig hairlines to be perfect. You know, bald spots, like... I want to be able to cut the lace perfectly, like all that stuff. It is so cute. Cute. <laughs> this is what the cap looks like on the inside, like this. <laughs> she has a comb here, a comb here. I use these combs sometimes, especially if it's like a glueless wig. I don't hardly ever use this here because like, I feel like in order to use that comb, you have to not have on a wig cap. I mean, you can't do the bar cap method, so I really don't even understand. I guess if you don't wear a wig cap, that's why it's there. But yeah, the hair feels good. Am I gonna go in this shedding one strand? Another strand, no strand. Another strand, a few strands. So it's got a little bit of shedding. Might just be some loose hairs. I mean, that's shedding though, isn't it? It came with a middle part. It's a bob if you didn't get that already. Let's smell her. Smells like wig factory, like they always smell. Um, <laughs> let's look at the hairline. So guys, I'm debating. I might go ahead and bleach my knots for the first time ever. I mean, I could tell it makes a difference, but is it like, oh my god, I gotta bleach my knots difference? Um, but I'm pretty sure this hairline is pre-plugged. It looks really good. Okay, you know what? Maybe this is probably better to hold it like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, the hairline is definitely pre-plugged, but I want my hairline to look like Tay did it. Cause I'm a perfectionist. Like my wig's looking good, period. Like I'm mean, not walking around here with no crazy with the frontal. But I do think I could definitely improve on my customization skills, you know. I'm self-aware. But we're gonna get we're gonna get fine. We're going to be fine. That's all. <laughs> um, I really don't know what else to say about this book. Um, um, oh, shipping. Shipping, um, I mean, I see hair usually comes within a week, always, like, so I don't really have much to say about the shipping. I wanted to do a little bit of a longer video than that, but yo, there's not much else to say about this wig. 
I appreciate you guys for watching. I don't, anything that I feel like I missed, I'm definitely gonna address it in like the customization video. So make sure you watch that. I just got done filming a oh, unboxing for these cute like shortcut and pixie cut wigs for the summertime. I got four. This is my second favorite because my favorite is probably the shortest one or not the second shortest one, the 1B one with y'all see. But this is my second favorite one because like it just turned out even better than I expected. The blonde's cute, you know? Yeah, I just got done filming that video so make sure you check those out if you were looking. If you were thinking about like short pieces cut with. So, yes, make sure you check out that video and make sure you check out this customization video and make sure you check out my vlog. I supposed to go into the cabins with my family. My brother was lit. He was turned. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and check out some more videos on my channel thank you all right, y'all, thank you so much for staying and watch the customization. Right here, I was just showing y'all the hair that I've already plucked because I've already done one side of the wig. This side of the side I still need to do. And that's the side that I've already done. So, I mean, you can't really tell when we're holding up like that because the hairline looks good anyways, y'all. The pre-plucked hairline is the way to go. Now, for this customization video, I am going to be using Arrogant Taste Tactics in order to get the perfect seamless hairline, you feel me? And so first thing you need to do, um, this really wasn't one of his tactics, but I am used the mousse to keep their hair out the way. But what you want to do is, oh, and he did not go over bleaching knots, and I do not bleach my knots anyways, but you want to put your your wig on a white towel just so you can see what you're doing and move your baby hairs out the way. Now to me, I recommend slanted stainless steel tweezers because those seem to be the best tweezers to go ahead and customize your frontal. You won't have to be worrying about trying to pull the lace too hard. I mean, to pull the hair too hard and risk ripping your lace because we don't want that. Along with the mousse, I also use conditioner water. You don't have to use conditioner water. I just prefer because I feel like it's better for the hair. But you do need to use water because you want your hair to be wet. When it's wet, the easier it will pluck out. Now you see me plucking in a backwards motion and that is major key. That's just going to, that's just the direction that the hair is flowing. And so that's the easiest way that the hair is going to pull out the lace. And see what the towel does, you'll be able to see exactly how you're working, what still needs to be plucked and what does not need to be plucked anymore. And so the whole reason I wanted to try Arrogant Taste Techniques other than like his wigs be bomb is because um, I feel like it was time for an updated customization and plucking method because I feel like the method that I learned was back when wigs did not come pre-plucked. And therefore, I feel like when I use that customization method on my pre-plucked wigs, I end up over plucking if you feel what I'm saying. And so what you want to do is just pay attention to the hairline. Look at the hair. Look, does that on? Cause you'll be able to tell like wherever you, you don't have to have it on your leg. That's just where I have it. But you'll be able to lay the wig on your leg and be like, hmm, that looks natural. Or hmm, no, that needs to be done a little bit more. Another thing that I learned when I was had my old way of plucking my frontals is they used to pluck one row. You know, part the hair, pluck the next row, part the hair, pluck the next row. But I feel like the issue with that was or is that you cannot tell what the hairline looks as a whole when you do that until you move all the hair back how it's supposed to be. And at that point, you might have plucked a part too much or not plucked a part enough. And so I think this is a better method because you just plug randomly. It's random, but the sections aren't necessarily random because you look at a section and be like, oh, that's too thick or no, it's not. Okay, now that we're speeding up the video and you can choose to listen to me or not, you can just keep watching to see how to pluck your wig. I wanna tell y'all about what happened the night that I was plucking this wig. So keep in mind, I was doing this wig for my graduation photos. The next day, I was I decided to wait to the last minute to do everything. And I was this was about 10 o'clock, almost 11 o'clock at night when I finally got done um, plucking the wig. And one of arrogant te taste techniques is not in the video because after, obviously after I got done plugging the wig, or you're gonna know what happened. I, well, one of his techniques is to cut the combs out of the wig, at the sides. Okay, cool, I ain't got no problem with that because I don't really use it that much anyways. Okay, so I did that. Tell me, I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know when, I don't know 
It was obviously me, but I cut or ripped a fat hole and like almost at the sideburn of my wig, y'all. I was like, I went to go put the wig on my head. I had cut some the extra lace off of it. Well, not all the extra lace, but enough off of it. And I went to go put it on my head to see how I was looking. And I saw a fat hole in the side of my wig. I was like, I was in shock for like, like five minutes. I just stood there and stared because I was like, oh my gosh. Because I had to travel to a whole nother city so I could take those graduation photos, y'all. My shoot was at 9 a.m. the next morning, y'all. I was like, what am I going to do? I had no C needle. I had no transparent thread. That's major key. I had, the only thing I had was the extra lace that I had cut off, but I had no way to fix my wig that night. I was in a hotel. The beauty supply store was closed. I just had to call the photographer and tell him, look, I, I gotta reschedule because look, my wig is ripped. Like I don't have any hair to wear tomorrow. So I gotta reschedule. I felt so bad y'all. But with all that being said, and you can clearly see from my uh, video where I did the installation that I slayed it. You can't even tell. So make sure y'all check out the video where I fixed the hole because it's major key. I did a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of some, some, but it's a little different that you might have thought, but make sure you check it out. But anyways, before I ruined it, I was by far so pleased with this customization job. Like, do, does that not look like a hairline on my knee to y'all? Did that look like somebody's scalp sitting on my knee? Now, well, not they scalp because it's not tinted yet, but their hairline is just laying on my knee. It looks so good. I was so proud of myself. I was like, yes, this is how I'm going to plug my wigs from now on because it was perfect. Like once I got it on my head, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so good. Eric and Tay really know what he be doing. He really do. And now he just showed me, yeah. And I was just able to show you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and go check out those other videos on my channel.